oh, you just watched the documentary called What the Health? And now you want to learn more about how vegans live and operate? That's cool. In fact, I'll call this video something like Ask a Vegan Anything. How about that? Would that be good? You know, what I want to do is create an environment in which people can ask a vegan question that they have as they may be exploring becoming a vegan themselves. Uh, I think it's important that you hear from a very sound-minded vegan such as myself. I'm the kind of vegan, I don't judge other people for not being a vegan. I don't care if other people eat meat, eggs, and dairy. It's not an attack on my identity. I know who I am. I know it works for me. For me, I had uh, dyshidrotic ex eczema. I had constant sinusitis on this side of my nose mainly. I couldn't breathe out of there for like 20 years. And I was very much allergic to animals. All those things went away when I become a vegan. So if I ever went back, all the problems would come back. You know, that's my motivation uh, for doing that. And I think what we're seeing in this new wave of veganism is that it's not necessarily so much for the sake of the animals as it is we're claiming responsibility for our own health. And I want to point this out early in this video. There's definitely some irony in that it's like a magnet. People who are type 2 diabetes who became that way, you know, by their poor eating habits, they are the first people to say, I can never be a vegan. That's disgusting. They think eating plants is disgusting, which is already funny to me. But ultimately, they're the people who are the most against my lifestyle, even though I don't want them to become a vegan. I don't care. But it's just funny. It's like when people find out that I'm a vegan, they feel like they're under attack, like I'm wanting them to become a vegan. And it's typically the people who were so much in a way that had they changed their lifestyle, the way they ate, they could have prevented diabetes or prevented whatever health issues they have. Whereas me, I started seeing some minor health issues start and decided to do something about it without the help of Big Pharma. Uh, so as far as starting off this, this series on me being a vegan, uh, the most common question is, well, where do you get your protein? <laughs> I even had one guy one time, I was in Detroit on this uh, thing for being a daddy blogger, and he was like this, guy in his 50s wearing a suit, slick back hair, and he saw what I ordered, which was in this veggie plate with cauliflower and beans and all this stuff. And he's like, he looked at his steak, he looked over next to me and he's like, protein? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> so by the way, I've been a vegan for over five years. I've been a vegetarian for six and a half. And for nine and a half years, I've been uh, kosher, meaning no pork or shellfish. So uh, I'm not new to this. This isn't just a phase. This is, this is my life. Uh, but as far as answering that question, where do I get my protein? It, there, there's six sources. Uh, fruits and veggies, beans and grains, which grains would be rice, oats, wheat, and then nuts and seeds. Something interesting about the vegan lifestyle is that uh, you're never consuming more than 0% of your daily cholesterol. You know, you can look at an avocado or cashew, something that has a lot of fat but you're always going to see 0% cholesterol on the label. That's pretty interesting. Compare that to eating, I don't know, like a, a cheese stick. Well, there's already a certain amount of your cholesterol. If you eat one egg, it's typically around 68% of your cholesterol just for one egg, and no one eats one egg. So that's something that's very interesting and isn't talked about as far as vegans and how we live. A lot of it is about having 0% cholesterol every day. Yes, there's cholesterol in plants, but it's never, no matter how much fat is in it, there's never enough to register as 1%. And that's not something you hear vegans talk about uh, often. So that's where I get my proteins, my fats. Uh, and what's funny too is even on this channel, I've documented uh, how I was actually overweight at the beginning of the year. I weighed 176 pounds and I'm five foot nine. So for me to be in the right BMI, anything past 170 is overweight. I got to up to 176 by being a vegan. And so it's funny because it's like, I don't have problems getting protein. If anything, I'm getting too much protein and fat. Uh, and even now, it's still a struggle for me to stay under 170 because I want to be, I don't want it to be ironic. I don't want to be a vegan who eats vegan junk food and is still overweight. I want to truly be healthy and know that I have control over that. I think, you know, so many people focus on things that they can't control, but your diet and your health, and those are things you can control now more than ever thanks to us learning more about being a vegan. And let me even point this out too. So my wife and I have a, a daughter who's two years old. I was a vegan for like two and a half years before she was even conceived. So even when it comes to being able to have children, 
My, and my wife's a vegetarian. She's been a vegetarian as long as I have. It's like our kids are healthy. They're both vegetarians. I think people just don't know as much about being a vegan. So they make a lot of assumptions based on unhealthy people. People with type 2 diabetes saying, you ain't getting enough protein. You're disgusting. What you're eating is disgusting. When why is it disgusting to eat vegetables and fruits and beans and grains and nuts and seeds? What's disgusting about that? So uh, I'd like to carry on this conversation. I hope this, this video takes off. I hope people find it engaging. I would love to an honestly answer your questions, your non-troll question. If it's a troll question, obviously I won't answer it. But if, if there's anyone out there who just has a question, they want to know more about this, uh, that's why I'm making this video. So I'm waiting. Comments right here. Let's get this thing rolling.